question of the day be what the fuck is a chud? <laughs> um, so I don't know. <laughs> Wait, who's, no, uh... no, no, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what, what the fuck are you talking about? You what, this shit? What's a chud? Totsky <laughs> underscore chud. <laughs> Totsky underscore chud. No, I need to see this now. Uh, it says, uh, noun, chud, uh, a gross, <laughs> physical, unappealing person. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome back to no! Perfect. I'm your boy, <laughs> Captain Poppy, the host of the most. We got special guest today. Uh, I'm going to go around the round table. What's up, Cobby? How you been, man? Oh, my God. What are we doing <laughs> right now? Oh, no. we, need to, we need to find an intro that sticks. This is scaring me. <laughs> no, this is going to get going. Someone's going to get a criminal. It's going to be some incriminating stuff that someone's going to drop. Because Papi's just going to be like, you know what? No, I'm throwing you under the bus. <laughs> it's, it's time, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, that was Cobb's intro. Dilma, how you doing, man? Yeah, not bad, mate. Still half asleep, but you know, I'll manage. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Joba, he's not in the closet this episode. Thank God. What's up, man? Yeah, I'm out this time. What's up, guys? And we have Totsky, the host with the most, the greatest man alive. I'm not yeah, going to mention anything else. Apparently, I'm a white supremacist now. So. <laughs> oh, oh he, did. Shit. Yeah. he did it himself. He did it himself. I don't think we were going to talk was, about it. Though. I wasn't going to say anything. I, I wasn't was either. Talk. <laughs> so, Todd's hey, a white supremacist. If you say that. I feel like that needs some contest. Individuals. According we to will, individuals on Twitter, we, I'm a white we'll, supremacist, we'll, but we'll, we'll leave it at that. We'll, yeah, we'll continue we, with Treasure Cruise. We, we might get into that. You never know what's going to pop up this episode. And <laughs> <laughs> recurring, he's back again, guys. You all can stop complaining. It's Nightmare. What's going on, man? I'm offended by Toadski. And Holy shit. Special Members in this episode? Shut, Joba, shut up, man. <laughs> Special guest. You all been waiting for him. He's the man. This boy pulls too much. He works for Google. His name is Rai. What's going on, Rai? What's up? Thanks for having me. Dude, bro, I've been I've been so hyped this whole time. Like every day I'm like, bro, we get to record with Rai, man. Ah, I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm No, nah, no one so knows who I am, so it's it's okay. Bro, let's get it, man. I'm so excited. Well, I want to go over some things. Thanks, everyone, for the support once again. Y'all are killing it. We're on our way to that 500 subscriber mark on YouTube. That's oh, pretty God. epic. Um, Anchor's going crazy right now. I don't know why you all listen to us. I don't know why you would want to on listen Anchor, to us. On Anchor, really? Yeah, people are going crazy. We're getting... Uh, episode 5 is, has done better than every other app except app 1 now, which is, wow. like, which is like really dope. So like, cheers for that. Um. I also want to mention that uh, we've had a lot of discussion amongst the, amongst the group and we're considering, or we're not even considering, we're going to test out a new process for the episodes now. So rather than just going over like all the news has come out, and I think that was pretty evident in episode five, that like it was just like it wasn't interesting. It was too long. It was a bit tedious. Like it, it just, no one really had time to get their opinions in and stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to go much. over... It is. There was too much. Like that week was too much stuff to go over for sure. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some main talking points that we like that we're all really interested in. And if there is any news that's been going on in TC, um, global or JP side that like we find really interesting that we think we can discuss, then we'll go over it. Other than that, if you're on the news, Todd's releasing like 45 videos a day on that new stuff. <laughs> go support him there. YouTube.com yeah. forward slash Toski. Nevertheless. Yeah, at what point this. does this turn from a podcast to like a news newscast? I'm not you know trying I mean? to be in the newscast, man. It's all right. We're not doing that anymore. We're clowning around. It's clown season. That's it. We, 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 were, we were finding our feet as a podcast, and it's it's just taken us five episodes, which are, are not bad. Like a lot of other podcasts take a lot longer. So I think I think we'll test this out. See how we go. Once again, we do have questions. Cobb is still snapping. He, there's not <laughs> enough questions coming. Where are the questions at, guys? I'm I not just, seeing. Oh, I just I'm put a to, um, to come over kneecap style. <laughs> I just put a, <laughs> okay. a post question, out on guys. Instagram as well. So you've got, if you guys follow our Instagram, you can, uh, sometimes I'll, I'll put out something on Instagram to say that we're live. If you send in questions through Instagram now, they might make it onto the podcast as well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So keep as, it as long as they're nice and interesting and worthy. worthy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if they're worthy and nothing to do with Todd being a white supremacist. Oh Nevertheless, <laughs> let's, get, let's get into the rundown of the app. So obviously we'll start off with going over the guest, who Rai is. For people that somehow don't know who Rai is, 
You're living under a, a rock. Nobody. Hey, this man is an OG. He's a legend. He's a top player. He's, a he's the a, guy. He's, he is the guy, you know. There might be only one person above him, but that guy is too famous for us. Anyway, I'm going to go over these three points. We're going to go uh, mainly, we want to talk about Kizuna again. Now that Kizuna, the first one is wrapped up. Um, we want to see how that all goes out and we want to give our final thoughts, maybe some things we want to talk about. Um, one point that uh, specifically I think Bri brought up to me is he wants to go over some quality of life stuff. We want to talk about the things that have currently been released and maybe um, come up with some ideas of things that could potentially come into the game in the future. And uh, Toast, uh, as we mentioned last episode, we didn't get time to go into it. Uh, we're going to go into uh, a P anime revenue breakdown of a US only revenue breakdown of uh, OBTC Global. And it is all the revenue over the start of the game until September 2019. So there is an infographic there. I will try to leave it in the description if people want to actually look at that while we're discussing it, maybe. Nevertheless, we're going to go over that, talk about some of the high points in terms of where money was generated a lot of the time. And we have some viewer questions as well. We do have a few. And then there are also a few questions that were asked specifically to Rye, even though there weren't many, which kind of sucks. But we'll still go to them. There's one that I really want to ask him. But anyway, let's get to it. All right, <laughs> I wonder Rye. which one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, Rye. Um, all right, give us your breakdown, man. How long have you been playing this game? Pirate level? What, like, what's, what's cracking, bro? I don't even fucking play this game, bro. Oh, my day. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Did we get um... the right, right? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean by the right, right? Hold on. What, what is that? What does that mean? <laughs> What other rye is there? Please explain. But this is the one and only. Thank you. I want to be hearing that disrespect every year. <laughs> <laughs> Joe McClowning. All right. 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 The right, right. All right. Uh, I started in February of 2015, so four plus years now. Uh, I'm pirate level 1207. Uh, how I started, how I got into OPTC was I was actually reading some manga and I saw an ad for the game. So oh, I shit. downloaded it and I was like, okay. Whoa, I, there's a new like, smartphone uh, app. Yeah, yes, that was the one. <laughs> I just caught up to uh, One Piece like uh, a couple months before. Because I, I wasn't always into One Piece. I just caught up and I saw the ad. So I just downloaded the game. Damn. Who would be evil enough to post an ad for the game at the end of a translated Bro, where, where are the ads of the game is my question. I mean, I think there's actually, the there's no more. I haven't I seen an ad for the game There in was a like time. a couple months where like they were blasting it all over Instagram. Pause. But, um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, deal, man, no sleep. Anyway, but like, yeah, they were putting a lot of advertisements on Instagram for quite a while, actually. Like, and it was kind of weird. I was like, whoa, why? No one's clicking on this. <laughs> it just makes no sense. But it's surprising that, like, I mean, to be fair, in, in 2015, yeah, like, the gacha kind of, like, game in, in the Western world just didn't really make sense. But now Was that your first gacha? I feel, I feel like, uh, no, I played one before. But I did not spend nearly as much. Uh, Castle Clash. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Uh, never heard of it. <clears throat> it it was like a a Clash Royale. No, it was before Clash Royale. Uh, it was one of those hero collectors. Yeah, typical stuff, <laughs> I guess. Like Raid yeah. Shadow Legends. Anyway, uh, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> guys, sponsor the podcast. We'd love to. Please, love to... <laughs> right, I'm begging you, man. Anyway, um, that's dope. Uh, so like, what about some of your like? Since you're a top player, like, that's crazy. Like, it's probably the first time. I mean, like, you know, shout out Dill, man. That boy was running top ten for one, <laughs> one TM. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, you know, being being a consistent top player, like what, like I, I don't. Uh, think I've done it twice. Good. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, my bad. <laughs> my bad. Hey, just, I was put like, some respect yeah, on that name. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I did this twice while working. Okay. Let him know. Let him know, Chief. Let him know. Bro, like, I was once top twelve. Thank you. Oh, uh, that doesn't count. I don't no, know. but like for real, who who legit is going to be going like top on this next treasure map when we've got Pokemon Sword and Shield coming? Okay. Out? Yeah, I, I'm getting my seven mil points and I'm dipping. 
No, you're not. Yeah, that's a lie. yeah, yeah. I know, no, I know your clown ass is gonna pull on that damn sugar fest. Oh, I'm pulling on the sugar fest. And you're gonna, gonna pull the boosters, and you're like, ah, uh, I bet I might as no, well. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not going that. <laughs> well, only I didn't even make top 500 last treasure map, and I had all the boosters. Bro, I got top 4K, cop I mean, top 7 The thing is as well is that Dill has all legends, so oh, there's yeah, not much that, incentive man. to. And to go my legend and my legends that aren't rainbowed are legends. I don't really care if they're rainbow or not. Which uh, name them? I mean, name, if you want name, tablets, name. Legit, just just play Kizuna. Like Kizuna, literally, literally you've got Cavendish, V1 Lucci. Um... If Log Luffy's one of them, you're off. You're off the card. My Log Luffy's Rainbow. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, he stays. <laughs> um, v- v1 no. Boa unevolved. Yeah, I think Dil- you, you you rainbowed the original art of Log Luffy. Yeah, oh, that's the original better. art. Yeah, yeah. so okay, good. You're <laughs> to be the host. What am I doing here? <laughs> Get me out, bro. So but, yeah. Uh, uh, this treasure map doesn't interest me, so I'm gonna get the seven mil points and th- yeah, dip. Because yeah, yeah Poke- like Pokemon, like I, I love One Piece to death, but Pokemon is my f- like I grew up playing Pokemon. I love Pokemon to death. It's like my favorite like game growing up. Like yeah, 100. Yeah, percent That's just that's it's gonna be dope. It's gonna be dope for real. <laughs> but what I want to ask Rye is like, what does it like? What would your like if let's say you want to like you were try- aiming to rank high or like it maybe go over a past experience of you aiming for a higher angle like what does that consist in terms of how many hours of gameplay like how much sleep you're getting like what what would be your general like your um your plan towards that uh let me see uh so for the past last tm for tm weevil uh i ranked uh fourth for the first day i played from the start of the tm towards like uh, i'd say seven ish a.m which was about eight hours of TM for me since TM starts at uh, started at 11 p.m. for me at that time. Okay. Uh, after that, I just I took a break for like I'd say three hours, and then I got back on it. And then I guess later that day, I just stopped because I had work the next day, so I didn't play at all the next day. But since it ran over the weekend on Saturday and Sunday. I just grinded the most of the days there. Like, I think I only slept probably like three hours on Saturday. Okay. That yeah. goes for all them plebs out there that think they grind yeah. hard. Uh, yeah. I was, I was also like, going to ask Ryan, like, um, what's it like using a mod on Treasure Map? Oh my uh, god. Oh, oh, I mean, I wouldn't want it. I kid. I kid. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. I kid. I kid. Oh my god. But yeah, I, Wait, I, I, I can, like having actually been in the top 10, I can respect <laughs> that grind. Because like, that grind is not easy. And doing it super consistently, like after I did it the first time on Treasure Map NL, I didn't want to farm Treasure Map for ages. And then I. I think what what was when I went top top ten again? Um, fuck, I can't remember. remember. That was like anyway, two, three ago. Two yeah, two or three ago. Um, when I it, like I only did that because I know I had nothing else to do other than work, and when I had free time at work, that's when I was farming that as well. And it turns out like I, I managed to get a good couple of runs in because my teams were more optimized for speed. And turns so I, was out like, I didn't actually work. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it is okay. a full time job. Yeah, I mean, but, I, um, I get that. Like, yeah. <sighs> Like for me, like the last time I went hard was like TM Kizaru, which is when I lost uh, first place to that modder. I didn't like go hard on any treasure maps for like four right, months. Oh yeah, yeah. Dude, modders. Uh, like I had modders overtake me towards the end, so I fin- I don't finish eighth in the, um my most recent top ten, but I was on track to finish fourth or fifth, and I took like a I took like an hour and a half a nap, and I woke up and I was like tenth. I'm like, how the Fuck, and I was messaging Lay, and he's like, "Yeah, man, these, uh, th- this, 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 and this guy are, are modders, so you just have to, you really can't stop." My like, oh, I'm okay. I'm gonna, sl- I'm gonna slide in real quick. I'm happy to talk about modders. I'm not happy to name and shame. That's all I'm saying. Unless, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not naming. Yeah, I'm, I'm just that's, saying, that's this, I'm saying. Yeah, this person. Yeah, yeah so I'm, I'm happy to I, guess, back, I think it's a. I think we have like there's, bring there's awareness to it. The yeah. podcast where we have to discuss it, and I feel like having Ryan or having Leon will be the, probably the two. Uh, best opportunities to do so. So, like, I'm happy to do that, but I, I ain't trying to go to you know, taboo land where Joma started to throw a name down there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, what, what yeah but anyway, what I'm trying to say is, like, after I, after those modders overtook me, I, I was so deflated. I farmed until I got to eighth place, and there was still 
three hours left of treasure map. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. If I come in the top 10, I'm in the top 10. And I stopped farming from there. And it turns out everybody behind me stopped farming as well. So I'm like, okay, I made eighth. But yeah, watching modders overtake you for you grinding for like, and only getting like a two, three hours sleep over the time of treasure map per, per day or yeah, it, it just deflates you and makes you not want to play the game because it's like, well, if like I can't even transfer off my device because of stuff in the past, but these guys can continue to mod. Like this isn't, how's mm. this fair? Mm. I but, think yeah. like it's very evident. Like there, there is a pretty prevalent issue at the moment right now. And it's not really an issue because it's like more like PVM or PV, PVE kind of thing. But yeah. like a lot of players are like racing pirate levels. Like especially like with the recent um, three times the XP ship because of and obviously having Jack as well. But yeah, like, like if, apparently me and Lay are no longer in the top ten pirate levels. Pirate anymore. levels anymore, yeah. Which Jeez. is like yeah. ridiculous thing <laughs> to think that like you know one point two k pirate level isn't a you know like the highest pirate levels anymore. Obviously, you have Trunks who was I believe he's like what one three six something. You know, he's he was yeah. extreme, he was extremely high up there. But now it's like you know you have accounts that are like one point four one point five, and it's like you really need to think that these accounts are quite young as well like you know Ryan just mentioned i believe it was february 2015 you started and your account's yes. at 1.2k like and that was and the majority of the time there's no xp ship there's no um there's no boosting captain there's nothing of the sort so like i think that's becoming like it's not necessarily an issue but like it's very weird that like that's that's become something that people care about a lot now is like that part level yeah like most of the like some of the new uh players that have reached over 1k they don't even have like the 50k runs yeah that's actually a really good way to like do yeah. that comparison yeah it's, that's it's, exactly it's, right because like when new players start new accounts like they can get the exp count i wouldn't say like relatively easily but you can get one early and then you can just do the chop man missions and you get so much exp from that but even that login law is like enough to yeah. just get started and people yeah. just re-roll for jack and just farm and farm and farm sure like it's not even farming though. Like when you have like a, like let's say you use a one wave, right? You can set up a macro that just starts the island, presses auto, done, and you just like have that run over X amount of times. Like it's not like it's just like with those one wave things, you're gonna have box mods and and things as well. And like with stacking now, it's even like you might not even need a box mod to be honest with you. But like it's just very simple now to, to get done. Especially like things like you know during three times the XP ship plus double jack, you gain like. On mm -hmm. average, like four, like four thousand one hundred XP per stam when you're doing turtle time. So it's like, you know, you can really just keep looping forever. Like they, mm -hmm. they yeah, you can very, literally continue, continually play without um running out. I've spent no stam, no gemming, nothing really. Yeah, so it really makes you think like how many gems did Trunks dumbass spend on <laughs> our Vita runs? <laughs> <laughs> oh, our Vita runs. Oh, wow. I remember that back oh, in the wow. day. <laughs> Yeah, I remember those videos, man. It was like 46 second now Vader on. We thought that was like, ooh, this man was this man was sprinting, bro. It was doing it for, it was doing it for, it was it for fun as well. Like that's like, and you know, and it, it goes to show, like with like, you know, what do you have? 136 thousand clears. That's like, like that's that that's definitely evident in terms of his pirate level. But you know, I think it's it's kind of crazy now. You have all these new accounts at such high pirate level. Yeah, see, I, I can I can respect the grind for high pirate level. I, I, I it's it's definitely there, and it's, it's definitely part, like a part of the community, I guess. But personally, that's not really for me. Like, I I cared about pirate level early on, but like once I got over six hundred, I'm like, you know what? I really um don't care to be honest. Like, uh, as long as I'm doing what I like to do in the game, which is farming treasure maps and even Kizuna's, I'm really enjoying that and collecting the characters I want to get. Like, it's yeah. Pretty it's much. very draining. It is. Yeah, yeah. And like, who's got like? I, I don't have the time to sit there and like. I know all you have to do is do, like on turtles and stuff if mm. you really want to, but like, I don't want to drain my phone battery just doing that. Well, I think yeah, that's the issue because a lot of these new accounts now, like, obviously, no transfer lock. They're all on PC. Like that yeah. macro. Even if you weren't to have like a one wave clear, like a macro is so much more efficient. Like, you do one run, you record it. And you just run that consistently. No lag time. Presses are always going to be the exact same. It's going to be a consistent thing, like, through and through. So, like, you know, you can you can immediately run that. Whereas, like, you know, you're, you're like, sometimes you're being lazy and you just want to press auto. Like, that takes a lot of time. Then you're waiting for, like, you know, if you hit a good grade or a perfect. 
um shout out to us you know so <laughs> it, it definitely like it definitely can affect um like how quickly you are when you're doing a manually in comparison to just chucking it on. It was funny because when um because I remember Dil, just, Dil just saying then when he uh when he said it's like it's draining to do the the pirate level farming when it, like during this previous event there were so many times I literally fell asleep while I was grinding exp. Mm. You were shooting up though. Mm. I, I thought you were gonna catch up to me. And I was like, oh no. Yeah, I, I went I'm up, I, like I, fifty I, levels. This that's event. that's a lot. That's like that's a lot. Which is a lot know. for me. I don't know. I, I don't know about the other people, but yeah. That's it definitely it definitely be a lot faster if the auto tap timing wasn't the average Facebook group player. To be honest, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true yeah, though. Yeah. That's true. That is true though, for real. <laughs> Damn. All right, let's god. get into the Kizna thing, man. <laughs> is it was hell good, dude. Dude, for real. Oh, Kizna, best Kizna mode. Yeah, one hundred percent. Like, I think Kizna like was just like just to, like start her off was Kizna was a great refresh. It's sort of like something to do in the game. Yeah. Yeah. Like even, even right now, the, the game, for me right now, it's pretty stale. And I'm like, because like, I could just like casually farm Kizuna every now and again. Stamina. Up. And you weren't like, there wasn't really like much time pressure, if any at all. Like, you know, yeah. you had you had your coins. Like if you wanted to be efficient, sure, you could like, you know, every 10 hours exactly do this. Or like every 30 minutes have a timer to do a, to do a um an assist if you want to be really efficient with your ticket output but at the end of the day it's like you don't need like you know as long as like i reckon what was it i think i did it free to play like i didn't like obviously i didn't buy any gems like for the for the potions and i think i ended up like level like 120 in kizuna so it's like yeah. it, it, that's that's a lot like you know i think i, I did what todd did at the very end. i just started stacking tickets i got to like 1.8k and i just i was like all right the like, sweet hella Hella tablets stocked up. I had like a hundred four star, <laughs> I was four star manuals. At, I was like, like actually, Jesus. you know what would be really cool? Um, so I kind of going a little off topic from Kizuna itself, but you know when Kizuna released, we had the limited rare recruit Urog banner. Um, I mean mm. Urog is good for the event, but it was just really annoying that on stage two of the int one, he had like no HP, so you couldn't really use Urog effectively. But um, the thing is, is I hope that whenever they bring out limited rare recruits in the future that they are guaranteed on the second multi. Like, that shit's insane. Yeah, I agree. Like, because I know the next one, I think, is a carrot unit. I think it's a Psy carrot. It's um, carrot. Joby's going in for that. Yeah, Joby, you want to talk about that? <laughs> Do you also want to talk about that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, ah, uh, yeah, the stats on the carrot are exactly, uh, he has a member. <laughs> <laughs> that boy got a member. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. That boy is keen. Yeah, it says if your captain is free spirit character, it's a two times conditional against delayed. So I think it came out with Sabo and Koala. Either way, if if that's guaranteed on two multis, like that's so worth compared to doing. And, and it was two discounts as well. It was like thirty gems, and then the, the second yeah, multi. It's, it's, like, it's like yeah, one multi. It's like essentially, I, yeah. I'm totally ready to get heartbroken again. Like when Bonnie came out, man. I have almost rainbowed Bonnie just with dupes, and I that is so frustrating. When Bonnie first came oh. out, when Bonnie first came out, I got three in one multi. Yeah, I got, I got <laughs> that two broke in my one heart multi. so bad because that was like your, it was the first multi, wasn't it? Yeah, that was wild. Jesus, oh man, that's what turned me to the dark side. I'm not going to bring up taboo subjects. I'm just saying that's, <laughs> what, <laughs> doing it again. that's what did it for me. Uh, did you just saying turn me to the dark side? And we probably kicked taboo. three in the three boxes. Like, yeah, we already have. Like just. Let, let, this, this um, taboo v2 man we're, we're basically like okay let's avoid these topics we've hit all three of them in the first 20 minutes <laughs> this is standard man <laughs> all in all, kizuna kizuna is such a great game mode especially if you're an end game player because when you are at that end game you want to start rainbowing out your characters and previously with treasure map getting tablets was a pain but kizuna fixes that issue you get so yeah. many tablets just mm -hmm. by playing you by playing consistently i mean you'd know this todd because like you you rainbowed a shitload of your um, legends. Like thirty yeah. something. I remember, yeah. like, yeah, but the, my box is like half rainbowed now. I think. Yeah, but the thing is with Todd, like, his all his legends were close to rainbow essentially, except yeah, for like, helped a lot. One, yeah, a lot of mine were already rainbowed because I'd already spent tablets on them because of um, high ranking in treasure map or just from pulling them, pulling yeah. dupes and stuff. But and the ones that I haven't rainbowed ha don't have any work done to them, and I like, I don't want to even bother spending tablets, mm. but. I got so unlucky, especially with crit tablets. Yeah. I spent oh 33 crit tablets on my V2 Zoro before I got one last ability up. Jesus. It's always Thanks. the last one, man. Yeah, it's yeah. always the last one. And yeah. I was spending two at a time because it, 
I, I started by feeding one, and then when I fed two at a time to other units, I was getting better rates. I'm like, okay, I'll feed two at a time, and still, yeah, no. Nah. That's like Korosan, like the, the top Japanese player. When he has like one left, he'll feed like four tablets. He just doesn't like, you know. I mean, he has like freaking like over yeah, he has like he has like four hundred yeah. tablets. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> he does feed yeah. four or five. Like what? Come on, man, <laughs> give but me. Yeah. I always when I was pulling for tablets, the, the ones I always found hardest to find was crit and uh, recovery bond. Were always yeah. the hardest ones for me to get. Hundred percent same. Barrier pen. Yeah. See, I, I got heaps and heaps of barrier pen. Yeah. And orb seal. See, for for orb me, orb seal was actually pretty. Was never pretty uh, I got a lot. Of, yeah, I got a lot of orb seal as well. But sorry, um, but I I use orb seal as fast as I got it. Mm. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> continue. <laughs> sorry, right? Go for it. I was saying for me, or um, barrier pen was never an issue because most of the units that needed them were int, and I maxed most of my int legends with dukes, <laughs> so that was never really an issue. <laughs> That's easy mode right there. Yeah. If you want to rainbow your legends, guys, just do more pulls. Yeah. Hey, that's that's the right. That's the right certified. <laughs> that's certified top OPTC player guarantee, bro. Tip number one. I do my pulls. But it's really cool because, like, even if, like, you get a bunch of tablets for units you can't, or you, that you don't want to rainbow yet, or you're just conserving tablets, like, it just means that if you pull new stuff in the future, you can rainbow that out really quick. Mm -hmm. So it's good. It's really good. For sure. Well, with that Kizuna ending, uh, JP has now finished, I believe, uh, their Sabo, the Halloween Sabo Kizuna. Uh, yeah, Nightmare. Nightmare. Uh, no, there's like a day left. I oh, saw a day left. How did yeah. that go? Uh, it's all right. I'm playing free to play because they always like put out the um Kuzna potion like gem sale like two sugos before. It's like, come on, bro. Why don't you do it like this? Tea? Right when it's out. <laughs> do this one, man. Come on, <laughs> for sure. Well, I think but yeah. I think the most interesting point coming out of that is the fact that the Saba was completely maxable within one Kizuna, which is really interesting. And I think on top of that, what was really interesting was uh, you could get Zoro and Sanji limit breaking materials from the T7 reward pool. Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong, it was like it was still a one in 1,000. Like, I think the T7 was 1,000 items, was it not? Yep. Yeah, it's 1,000. Yeah. And it was like... Which what, was the pools of tablets too. Yeah, it was like very... It was like a very small percentage for tablets in that one but, but it's, I, like, it's really interesting because i mean that's one of the things i don't like about kizuna is the um the fact that it takes so long to max zora and sanji mm -hmm. like that is that is absolutely stupid but then like we'll have the stampede one where we had boa hancock with uh we have this halloween one with sabo and stuff i just don't really understand what they're going for like are they are they going to make it like chop and change back and forth where one time mm. it's going to take six months and it's going to take two months like i don't really understand what they're doing i honestly like, still think they're sussing it out yeah, yeah, I, don't I could know. say that. I feel like Zoro and Sanji like were just ridiculously powerful. That like just making them maxable within like one Kizuna would be yeah, I agree. Like, I, I think they, 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 they were aiming for the meta that would have happened like several months in the future. Yeah, that mm -hmm. that makes all they like trying to predict. I mean, like they're the only ones that can really predict it. Them's like you know they can they can make sense of it, but like they were Actually, very strong have, units. Uh, what was that? I do. Yeah. Not go again, sorry. Okay, I was saying, like, I wouldn't mind another six month one if we got another pretty broken unit. Like, yeah, 100%. if that was like an attack or orb booster this time, maybe something with utility, like oh, a yeah. free to play, um, like Sabo Koala special that removes like the negative orb debuff, or like mm -hmm. a Shira Man Sherry that can remove the, um, one special Same per debuff. turn like or debuff something like that. Yeah. That'd be broken. I feel that like does. that's. I, I guess like they like you could really find a compromise that was like an absolutely like busted unit, like that takes six months to max. But then in between that six month period, you have like maybe one or two units that you know like that you would max in within one Kizuna period. Whereas like a fortnight or three weeks of just Kizuna. Where you you could max that unit completely, and it'd be a decent unit. It wouldn't be on the same level as the six month one, but it'd still be pretty good. Could you imagine if they did like a free to play unit, like an Ikazuna? It takes like six months to max, but it's like a unit that removes all barriers, removes normal attacks only, 
Oh, it has like a sailor ability that resists the um, the <laughs> you know the, wanna, new enemy debuff. Do everything. <laughs> you know, you know the new enemy that. debuff. <laughs> the enemy debuff where it removes the cumulative damage on specials. I feel like that like it has a sailor next. ability that resists that. That would be sick. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> So I do have a couple of small drives with Kizuna though. Like obviously overall it's a stupendous mode. It's there's a you know the, the unit is really strong even though it takes a long time. You you could use the unit in Kizuna. That was kind of cool that yeah. you got to kind of test them out. Uh, and you get like a shitload of tablets and not just tablets. Like I said, we got books, we got tomes that nobody really needs tomes anymore. But you get out of it too. Holy Very, shit! Oh my oh, god, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was insane. I hate seeing it, but at the same time, it's like it's cool. Yeah, it was kind of cool because yeah. I'm yeah, almost at a billion, so it's gonna be cool to kind of see. Tomes as well, up. lots of tomes. Yeah, hella tomes too, man, for sure. So the the big thing for me is that I felt. I always hate when I feel like I'm wasting things in the game. Like, uh, I don't care so much about regular stamina anymore because, you know, because I don't play as hard as I used to. So whenever the stamina fills up, I'm just like, eh, that's okay. It's not the end of the day. But this is a kind of a, you know, a pretty rare event relatively. Yeah. So when I'm not doing my assist runs, like when I'm sleeping or whatever, I, I feel like it's being wasted. And, and it is because you're not getting uh, the most amount of tickets that you could possibly get. Mm -hmm. So... So it feel yeah. it's not you know it's not a huge deal, but it does kind of feel like you're wasting, and that's not the game's fault. That's just kind of you know my own thing. Uh, the other thing was that the even though it's fun to kind of just play at your own pace uh, towards the end, or not towards the end really, because I, well, it was for me because I stocked up all my coins, but uh, at, at a point, it, obviously, it becomes too hard to beat with regular teams. So you have to use at least in the first Kizuna, you had to use that Brook Magellan team. And or Magellan, Magellan, and and that got really tedious to be honest because it, it just took a while, you know, and I mean, you had to do a lot of runs. It was fast, okay, as, no, to be honest. Can, okay, so so the answer yeah, to that is, is the fact that, that this whole game mode is built on the fact that you they, they basically want you to have friend requests to like do the the runs for you so you can work together with other people. Yeah. And the fact is, is by the time you get to that stage where your team can't beat it, you would have already been at box seven. So it's not like that big of a deal. But I understand what you're coming from. I, I felt the yeah. same. But it's just the way the game is built for this moment. Yeah, again, it's not the game's fault. It's just kind of my own. Yeah. Like, I got kind no. of... It, it just got a little tedious. The one thing that is kind of the game's fault, though, is you know how we have the two times? And at first, we thought it was pretty cool until we figured out that it's not as efficient. But they kind of... It, it's nice for assists, right? Because you because there's other people that don't know about that or that they just don't care. Mm -hmm. So they do the two times runs. And yeah. you could do your assists on two times, and that's more better for yeah, you. Yeah, basically, but as, a PSA, as a PSA to all players out there... If you literally cannot beat it, always run two times. Yeah. Always yeah. run two times. If oh, you they have can't anymore account, because Bandai is yeah. removing it. Yeah. For the yeah. next that's, that's, that's it. Yeah, they're removing it. We're, we're, we're <laughs> it's gone now. 100%, man. Yeah. That was the big rep with it. Why is it gone now? <laughs> it's, it's gone because they had like, an error. The, the power yeah, up. Yeah, it caused the black screen power up for Azoro Sanji. Yeah. Which Dude, I'm, 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 I'm like, I, I half tuned out. What's this? They're removing yeah. two times um, from Kizuna to yeah. fix a bug because, like, wow, okay, two times, yeah. two times broke a particular. Like, I think it was like if you were in Kizuna and then you went immediately to the power up and then powered up a unit, it would like go to a black screen. It was just oh, yeah. you couldn't. Yeah, that's yeah, right. It was, it was just sorry, yeah. yeah, and it just you couldn't you couldn't play the game. Like you'd have to restart the app. But then when you restart the app, everything would be fine. Like you'd get the yeah. power up animation, everything like that. But like, I, just, see, I, I didn't get the power-up animation. I just got there in my Zora uh, okay. Basically, after it goes black screen, you reset, you come back in, it'll work for the rest yeah, of it. Like, and it's, it's just like, go to power-up results or whatever it is, and then, like, you just got to end. It's fine. But, like, the, that, the idea that, like, that they're removing it, like, I think it was cool, the fact that they decided to implement, you know, glow best server. Sorry, Knight. But, <laughs> but like, you know, like, I, feel, I, I feel like it's cool, the fact that they wanted to implement this thing. But, like, you know, and sometimes you can't foresee these particular issues and stuff. But I hope now, before they just completely put it back into the game, like for the next Kizuna, they maybe look at it again and think like, okay, rather than just it having completely just double double the coins for pretty much double the rewards, maybe add a little bit more to it. Maybe add a, 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 another incentive to make people want to use like 40 coins rather than like the 20 every time. Yeah. Yep. It's like that. Uh, the one thing I way. did hate in Kizuna was the actual getting the coins because you would yeah. wait 10 it hours. It was so inconsistent. It, it was so RNG based mm -hmm. that you could wait 10 hours and only be able to do one run. It, um, like, it you should get how... at least guaranteed 50 tokens per, yes. or like 10 tokens yeah. per run. Guaranteed. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I saved up five of the stamina, spent it, only got 15 tokens, and then. Uh, another time oh. I saved up five again and I got 86. I'm like. Oh. 
Why is there such a big difference for the same amount of stamina? Um, I never had that big a variation. Didn't, didn't they like fix it kind of night at some like didn't they guarantee you coins something like that? Like that's what I heard. I might be completely wrong though. Um, I don't know. It's like it's random for it me. Is, so like, it's like fifty or a hundred. It's like because I think like the, the most it's still at least fifty, right? I think the minimum base should yeah, be at least, at least 50. fifty. Okay, yeah. yeah. Like, See, that would be better. For us, you get one. <laughs> this is our one yeah. run. <laughs> one run. It's like, so what, like, you know, like, that's two hours. That's two hours of waiting even one coin. Can't do shit. And like, come on, man. But like, see, I think like we'll we'll hopefully get that with our next iteration of Kizuna. Um, like that minimum base 50, which I think is like completely fair. But like, do you think um because I think like the, the max you'd get from a single run was 25 coins. So like total was 125. The highest I saw was 90 coins from from the five stamp. I didn't see anything higher than 90 from like from images and stuff from people. But like I mean it like it kind of like changes it up in in a sense like, you know, we have a base of 50, but does that mean that they should increase like the maximum we can get, or do you think it's still fair keeping it at like a max of 25 coins per single run? Yeah, it it should just be, yeah, like minimum 10, max 25 per single stem. Yeah. yeah that's what it fine. should be. Yeah, between 50 or 125. And what are our thoughts on no buggy first kiss and <laughs> Rip, man. No oh. buggy. It's, it was, I mean, it's, it's whatever, really. You make it back. It doesn't change that much overall. Yeah, I mean, you would have got a couple extra tokens here or there. You maybe would have been able to do maybe like one or two extra runs if that, like, wouldn't have added that much in my opinion. You maybe would have got a few more tickets. What what um level did you get to, Rai? Uh, 150 on single stem, but I did go to level six on double because okay. that was at the start, so yeah. At the start, I went yeah. to I went to 115 on... Oh, no, I went to one. 30 no 142 on single 15 on double okay i think i guess the highest was lay then i think what was he like one 174, 174 or something. i got to 156 all right i was 120 Cold? yeah i think what about 120 yeah, I, like... I played casino <laughs> well, I want to hear Cobb's casino perspective uh, I, I just did the double stamp because i was lazy and most of the time i was at work that's so, fair, but just like that's, that's, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I got to like sixty-seven ish. That's still like in double stamp. So like. Yeah. So I probably would have been. Yeah, like, that's like, like one. Maybe like one. Yeah, one one twenty one thirties. Like it's yeah. still fine. Um. But like like I think I think Todd mentioned it. Like Kizuna was made for the fact you get like you know once you've got all the limit break materials for Zoro Sanji, then it's just up to the player how much they really want to like farm it. Like it's not. You know, you're not like. It's not like they're gonna force you to continue. Like you know, there's more like, limit break materials to to continue going. But like, I think it was fair. I think Kizuna was was good. I think the first iteration was good. Um, speaking of it though, what do you guys think we could see as other than obviously like we mentioned the coin uh, having a coin base for global and let's even with JP as well. What do you think going forward we could really see when it comes to Kizuna? Like, what do we expect? What do we want? Maybe. Maybe some like I want a better Kizuna interface. Okay, elaborate. There's there are so many times where I would enter one of the stages and I'd forget which color I'm fighting. Yeah. Yes. I agree. So I'd have to back out and then look again and then choose again. Yeah. So I'd, I'd like, 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 like on the stage. selection screen for your teams, it would at least show like what color you're fighting. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, another another, one, another big one that they need to do with uh, with Kizuna, they need to fix for Samsung and fucking Android. <laughs> the little uh, appe- enemy appears screen every time you enter anything in Kizuna. God damn, yeah, so I, much time wasted. I luckily didn't get that. And yeah, I, I didn't get that bug either. Well. What the I, fuck? I, did not have yeah, that. You, I think you you might be the only one that got that bug. Actually, I think nah, I saw, there was a whole I, Reddit post dedicated you to re- it. Prepared resources. I am on and um Android and Samsung as well, so. Oh, Todd, no longer Bandai Spy confirmed. 
He was just testing out like a, a later patch. Yeah, he was testing out. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got the beta. Yeah, I was in early, boys. Yeah. So I was already was actually early. maxed out Zoro Sanji. He was just playing us. <laughs> <laughs> he had to delete the unit before he started streaming. He's like, oh, okay, guys. It'd be wild how Australia got its own version of the game. <laughs> Which have been set up right now. They're yeah, outside. We, we get it 17 hours before the Americans. That's what, what I'm saying, bro. We in, the, we in the future, man. That's all, that's all that matters, bro. For real. <laughs> For real. <sighs> right. Right. It's not often we give the guests the lead, but you specifically told me that you want to talk about some quality of life stuff. So I want you to 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 generate this conversation. Get to it, my man. All That's right, well, right let me see. Uh, well, for an improvement for something that they added is the auto feature. I'd like you to like, if you, there's a checkbox so that you could always auto, but yes, I guess with some people um, running macros, it doesn't really matter anymore. So yeah. it's <laughs> whatever there. Uh, another thing would be like just the favorite all button. For your yeah. character oh box. Oh my god, that yeah. would be amazing. That's so, ob- that's <laughs> wait, 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 that's what? so obvious. Yeah. Cut out favorite man. all. A favorite all button. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. Ca- like we have like 2K character box now, and you still have to favorite each one one by one. Yeah. Like oh, even shit. like even if it wasn't like a favorite all. But like, like a select. Have, like, yeah, like, like a favorite select. window and it's like a bunch, you know? Yeah. That you could just that you could favorite at one time. Like it'd make it so much more efficient, so much quicker well, to do while so. While we're doing that, can we have a sell all button? Did yes. Get- uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sell all is da- dangerous. Da- sell all is so just dangerous. Just don't be a clown. Yeah, no. Nah, that's, that's, that's actually part of the reason why they won't do that is because of human error. That'll cause lots of problems. That's called natural selection. <laughs> you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Oh, oh, you're not wrong, but I'm the type of person to play uh, Trey Crew when I'm drunk, and I don't <laughs> trust myself there. Yeah, That's you need to, you need to lock your bank account as well. When you yeah, true. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Tra- Tra- Trey Crew almost did that for me. <laughs> Do Man, I get into I that? <laughs> it's called the Google account logo. <laughs> no, but I think I've been like, waiting for think... stack selling. Bro, that's hard to implement. Like, I feel like, like, how would you do it? Like, would you like have it as an option in the cell? Like, would you get maybe? How like, many would you like to buy? Oh god, could you imagine? Like three thousand, please. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, or like a slider. You know, because because yeah. I, I have so many uh, uh, books that are just useless, and I don't want to like sell them because I have like a hundred of some of them. No, we get it. Like we can sell twenty at a time now, so it doesn't take five cells. Like it's literally like a minute out of your day. Yeah, but you still have so. to select each one one by it's one. It's not that bad. I don't know why people have I've such got, an issue I've got with some this. Some cramps. I agree with Todd. I agree with No, are people crying over spilt milk? This is not an issue. Literally, take a minute out of your day to sell it. It's not. Then I've been giving me carpal tunnel. That's just to sell one manual. Like, you got carpal like, tunnel one from stack. You're, playing Mario Kart. you're right, Todd. It's, it's not an stack. issue, but it would be a nice improvement. That yeah. is true. It's not an issue. I just because uh, the thing is, I literally don't have like any stacks of anything to sell. Yeah, you yeah, keep neither. your box way too clean, though. I don't. I just don't understand how people um, don't. Have I, I'm like, the same, Todd. Oh, don't worry. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, I I uh, from I'm the a... ticket pool, I got uh, limited rare recruit Akainu, and from the blitz battle, I had 300 plus books. Yeah, and it took me fifteen maybe to max him. <laughs> so I mean, wrong. back in the day, I, so I just want to hold down on that stack and yeet them all away. I would agree a hundred percent. Back in the day, because ten at a time was trash, but twenty at a time is actually not that bad now. Well, maybe they can just flesh out those like those menus then. Like maybe when you go to the cell Optimize menu, them. yeah, like you know, rather than just like you click on cell, then it takes you to your box, and then you know it grays out the favorite ones and such, you know. Or even Maybe just make, could... make the selling system faster where, like, you can tap and then drag down and it highlights a, a bunch drag of them. Yeah, a yeah, drag would be... A click and drag. That's, that's a great idea. Yeah, so you, 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 know when you, when you tap on a, you know when you tap on, like, a, a thing that has, like, multiple on it, like, a, a drop-down menu comes yeah, down? Drop down all of them? Comes up, yep. Like, you can just drag and drag all of them. So Dude, you don't have to a, tap each one. Bro, bro, poor Chunks, man. You have 999 Vita books. His box would be, like, 3,400 <laughs> spaces. <laughs> <laughs> that boy be I feel like, because, like, I can understand it for that, but, like, that's your own fault at that point. Like, you, <laughs> you left it You left it for 999? <laughs> Get out of here, bro. <laughs> Absolute clown. Oh, nah. Shout not, out to shout out to Trunk though. I guess uh, it's not so bad now that you can sell from the uh, rewards. That's yeah, true. That, yeah, that yeah. changed. But, the game, um, I always forget to do that shit though. 
Yeah, that's just me. Yeah, Again, yeah, that, 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 that man was actually a grave. <laughs> yeah, like, that's just something that I'd like to improve on that. Like, there'd be like a auto sell. Like, maybe you could select all two star items would automatically Dude, sell. Again, yeah, that's got so much room for human error, too. No, but it doesn't, though, because no, no, it, no, happens, no, it like, happens in Dragalia. All, like, yeah, Dragalia all, fodder, versus... all fodder issues. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, so nothing like, like worth anything would be auto sold, just all the fodder stuff. No, exactly. Look, so in Dragalia, right, mm-hmm. when you go to the sell screen, like when you want to sell like like you know, like uh prints or like dragons or whatever, like uh weapons or whatever it is, you can you hit um auto select and then it says you have options and it, so for example it says like two star or under, three star under, four star, five star, and you select that option, then you hit auto. And then it picks all the ones within that parameter, and then you can sell them only. So, like, if you had it like that, where it was like, you know, all two stars, all three stars get sold immediately, then, like, you know, it, it, like, it's uh, that you're an idiot if at that point, if you're not reading, like, if you're just being lazy. Okay. What, you know what, what if you, so, okay. What if, and you, you need you some, you need some skill books. So, you say you need the legend school, but you don't need the batch of skill books because you had four star books. Um, would it prioritize? Would it ask you? So, and you said, okay, to sell all skill books if you need them. Would it also count those legends, or would the legend skill books be rated as higher stars? The legend books are classified as six star yeah. books. Yeah, I, yeah, no, but like, are the books themselves actually classified as six stars? Yeah. Okay. That I've never, I've never, I've never looked into like if the books, the skill up books actually yeah, had whatever stars. Whatever rarity the character is, it's the same rarity as the. Uh, okay. Actually, yeah. I haven't checked though. If a uh, unit has a super evolution, what is it classified as? I assume it's still six star. I think it's still six star. Yeah, because you can use the six star book for six plus. So that would actually, sense. I might be able to check for you. I'll get back to Refer you. It now. But like, I think the way that they fix it, or they like not fix it, but the way that they do it in Dragalia is they have like obviously like every like car- like characters, dragons, weapons, and worm prints are all in their own separate like inventories or menus. Dragons. So it- when you're the dwag, it's baby dwag, <laughs> Joey Wheeler. <laughs> so when you're selling from a particular menu, like it is only selecting what's in that, like in that menu. I guess mm-hmm. that, like, but then I wouldn't want that to happen in TC, where it was just, you had like 14 menus of just a bunch of things to sell. But I feel like a, another, like not overhaul, but another addition to the selling system would be very beneficial. What else you got, Rye? Hit me up. Uh, another thing would be, you know how we double tap to skip animations? Make yep, that a yeah. permanent option. Just turn off animations, something. Yes. Yeah, a permanent yeah, option to that. enable or disable animations, because double tapping each run is so annoying, especially yeah. for when you're running Carrot, like that start oh animation. Oh my god, oh, yeah. God. I now. I don't know. <laughs> I know Joe, but likes watching it, but... Wait, oh, yeah, I <laughs> watch it every single time. He's talking about it. No, yeah, I, 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 he's not even the fastest legend anymore under, under Joe, but he sits through that animation and the special animation. <laughs> God, and then he waits, for, he waits for her to go back to regular form. <laughs> <laughs> It's all, it's all 12 turns it's out again, just be special. <laughs> Guys, I just finished the run. It's going to be 35 minutes. What the fuck? Yeah, mid run, he had to just rub one out. Oh, oh, God. oh, yeah. oh, no. oh I'm done. I'm so done. I would never do that. I, I would never do something like that. I don't know what you're about. Yeah, I'm a good Christian boy. Oh, that's all we need to know. All right, cut the train off. Cut the train off. Uh, so something that... What, Something that I did mention though, uh, the uh, the set it so that when you do auto, it just starts as auto because like in Dan Memo, it, it, that's that's yeah, a thing. That's you can just, it's you know, also like that it. in Pokemon Masters, and that's Masters. a shit game. <laughs> Let him know that game trash, bro. <laughs> uh, but, so like, what other what other quality of life updates? I mean, not just Rai, but anyone. Does anyone have any like ideas? I mean, I'll just Honestly, jump on the hype train. What am I? What do you do in game that frustrates you sometimes? Ooh. Like that, what that's what I'm trying to figure out. Spending the money. Thing about, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> spending money. What? The, the thing where you're in the Coliseum and you exit to your team, at least that's fixed now. I'm so happy. That's about fixed, it. which is great. Yeah. And the the other thing that is really nice is already implemented on Japan, which is the where you, every time you start a first run, it's zero stamina, so you can try out all kinds of teams before you can beat it. That's really that nice. Really cool. I just wait for Rod to make a team, and I'll use that. And Rod doesn't even wait. Rod doesn't even make the team. I just wait for Lay to make the team. Yeah, Lay be better. Like <laughs> this, this is the quality of life. This is more like an event that I wish they did because it's an event on on Dokkan Battle and it's lit like literally one of the best events ever. Where throughout a twelve month period, depending on how many gems you get, you get a ticket. Get oh tickets. my god! <laughs> so like, what happens on Dokkan Battle yes. every year at the same time for that entire past twelve months? For every fifty stones you spent, you get one ticket to summon and it's one unit Yikes. just imagine how many tickets you'd get in a 12 month period for playing so Treasure Cruise. would and, have zero and the thing is right every 50 <laughs> gems that you spend that, that accounts multis that counts uh refill staminas uh any anything you use gems oh my god I jesus and every 12 months on dokkan battle they get a banner where you, they can just spend their 12 months worth of i don't want to know how many like i, I was spending man did you imagine yeah. they did a Sugo Fest once a year? Because you could calculate how much you, money you spent you as well. Exactly with that, you calculate how many oh. gems you spent. How good would that be? Th that'd be a little bit. That'd be a little bit heartbreaking. Be heartbreaking. <laughs> <laughs> this is coming. I like how you're like. This is a really good idea. Really scared about how much money we're spending on this yeah, game. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I feel like it's, I feel like it's fair considering Dokkan Battle. Like I mean, their currency fair. is cheaper, and they get this. I mean, like, no, no, like, currency I think, is no, I, I agree with you. I think like, like, I think we're just speaking it from the perspective because like we've all spent ample amount of money on this game. Oh, we of course. Have. But I mean, like, I think from that, like from that idea of like, you know, like a quote unquote reward, rewarding people for using gems and all that kind of like for using that kind of currency, the premium currency, I guess if you want to like make it a, a common term, like that, that's good. I think that's like, you could really do that. Like, you know, like give everyone a ticket and then, you know, you could accumulate those tickets over that 12 month period. And then, you know, have that like a big sugar fest. Yeah. Can you like, imagine you know, though, a circle jerk on Reddit about like being pay to play though? Like, or, like <laughs> hey, on everyone shot Suck every me off Reddit. Bro, as soon as, as soon as like lay uploads his image, <laughs> how many like, uh, he got, it's uh, over. Like, like on Dokkan Battle, that. like the truth, the one of the biggest Dokkan tubers out there. In the latest banner that came out earlier this year, he got two thousand one hundred or two thousand two hundred tickets. How many? So, okay, run the math. Times that by fifty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> times divide, it, divide it. By... So ten, you're saying ten thousand, like ten thousand stones. A oh, hundred thousand. Hundred thousand stones. Oh, in a, in a in a twelve month period. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I can I get that translated to down under currency, please? Yeah, hey, um, mate. a lot, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> that's <laughs> so much. A hundred thousand. Yeah, so, yeah, I wouldn't reach that. Yeah, that, that's. Like, I wouldn't even reach that. And yeah, no. Nah. So I mean, he, he drops racks, though. Yeah, he does. Yeah, and, he, um, he absolutely. Yeah, he just pisses it away. And plus, on on Dokkan Battle, they've still got cheap gems. So, oh my. Three? God. <laughs> I mean, the cat's <laughs> out of the bag now. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Because when you yeah, think about it, I like on 50, 50 gems for one ticket, that's actually like really not that much. Like many people wouldn't even get that many tickets. Okay, let let's say we get this implemented. How like what is the ticket and how do you make that ticket like fair? Do you make it if, a regular single or how? Just before we get into this, if we get this implemented, are they going to do a back pay of all the all the gems that people have already <laughs> spent oh, back down? Maybe <laughs> all the cheap so. gems, bro. Oh, imagine. Doubt. I, oh doubt. my god, the tickets. Oh my god, like the thing is, I'd, I'd actually look into it and then calculate how much like that would be, and probably go. <laughs> That's commit too suicide. Hard, suicide. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how they'd do it though, because like they wouldn't make it a multi summon. I feel like maybe, uh, nah, nah, maybe nah. I don't know, but I feel like the Sugo Fest would be maybe a double legend rate Sugo, and it's just okay, like yeah. everything's equal boosted everywhere. Friend point turtle recruit instead. Because um, with the tickets on Dokkan, because when Dokkan release banners, they only release like a handful of Dokkan Fest units on each banner, but then this ticket banner has every unit in the game. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like if they were to do it on Treasure Cruise, they would just like have every single unit available, maybe include special units like treasure map rare recruits, maybe, or like special edition There's units. Limited, limited rare recruits in that. Yeah, limited oh, rare yeah. Just chuck everything in it and make yeah. it all equal rates. 
Maybe like even like you could like kind of I guess customize it and have a, have it be like a choose your own. Where yeah, like you just have like all banners. So you like That'd you go cool. to you have like, a Sugo Fest, a limited rare recruit Sugo Fest, uh, a treasure you... map rare recruit Sugo Fest. Like you know what I mean? Like has like treasure map, past treasure map characters that you missed Fest? out on that, that might still be. Oh interesting. no! I mean, yeah, support people are out there. Oh no! Don't don't be doing that. Please. Yeah, support. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, no, that was just an idea that I was thinking. No, I think I think like it, it could work, but like you have to kind of look at it from the lens of how do you make it um like fair, I guess. It's like you know, like I mean, if you spend like, more money, you get more tickets. I mean, like, that's that's about it. But you know, I but I think speaking on tickets though, I would love them to just put the tickets in the Sugo like the tavern. Don't put it in oh, my yeah. inventory. I just want to see like I want to be able to swipe across and see the ticket what it pulls for and how many I have it rather than having like mail in um, like mail that you pull from it. I just don't like the fact that like we have this visualization of the ticket, but you never really like see it outside of the reward itself. You can't okay. check the rates either. Yeah. Unless I'm wrong. I mean, you can't check, check the, the rates for what? I mean, could you do like, a damn memo though? No. Yeah. yeah. yeah and then, you could. I, think, I feel yeah. like you could. Yeah. Yeah, you could like they'd have it. You'd have it on Dumbo because because in Dan Memo you don't have a mail. You have it in the Gotcha thing. You just swipe to the and side. That's why and I, I think that's a lot better to do that than yeah. to have it just in the mail. I think it just it would just look a lot better from in general. And then also branching off from that again, like I, I don't like bring up Dokkan Battle all the time, but they do a lot of things right. And another thing that happens is Game's every still time every, every time you do a summon, <laughs> no matter if it's a multi or a single, you get coins. And yeah. then you use those coins in their shop to purchase literally any unit that's on that banner currently. Yeah, we should get belly. Can... Except for the new unit. The new unit, you have to wait for it to return. Wait, Joe, did twice. you say belly? No. We yeah. don't, I don't yeah. want... <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, just, like, actually I'm just... Actually, have I, I actually have a feature <laughs> I want to talk about for belly. Ooh. But I'll, I'll, I'll wait till you're, you're done. Oh, can you exchange it for real money? <laughs> I'm I'm lit, lit, bro. All right, I so wish. we're billionaires now. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right, go right. Hit me up. I want to hear this bad idea. All right. Uh, so there's gonna, I'd say like add a, there's a new shop. It's kind of like a, a cola bar, but Ooh. each of the col- each of the colas would have different icons on them, such as like attack up, HP up, cooldown minus two, or something like that. But you would you could for the purchase the cola for certain like let's say ten million be- belly, and that effect would be on a ship for let's say four hours or so, and That's, you could only purchase mm, you could only purchase it once like per day. I, it would be set. I, I, I kind of I kind of like that, but I, I reckon it should be more so like yeah similar, but for the ship. You so like put, maybe like it, the, yeah, the ship the has ship, like two slots, uh, and you yes. can like put like two buffs on it. Yeah, so it could be um, extra recovery, extra attack, or extra or minus cooldown, extra or HP. Or, is, yeah. uh, you can add a special like to the ship, whether it be like... Yeah, pardon? sockets for the ship would be really sockets dope. Sockets for a ship, and then like the cola are replacements for Forbidden Tomes. Yeah. That could yeah, that, that, that would work as well. well I, but I agree with Rai, though. Having that whole idea of like you know expanding on that shipyard a little f- further would be pretty dope, though. Like being able to purchase, like, oh, okay. Like, you know, I use the whole ship a lot when I'm running. Okay, maybe I can get... Minus two cooldown and then like attack up like one point like one point two five attack up and then minus two cooldown and you put on the ship but maybe you like limit how many you can buy of each one so like you have you can't like you know you can't just have every ship be the exact like same loader you can only have three of this one and three of that one and you'd have to like I was thinking like it would be like a one like buff per your account like not per ship or anything okay it's like you choose one every ship. Yeah, it would apply to every ship, but it's like it lasts like for X amount of time, like let's say four hours. Huh. That'd, okay. that'd be like really good for treasure maps and stuff. That balance that that balance it if like if it was just one buff that you'd buy over like a four hour period once a day, I I could tell it being balanced. Yeah, and it would cost berries, so you could use it that way. Yeah, there definitely needs to be another usage for berries and cola specifically as well, because for end game players like us, like we. Just we need something to do with it. Useless currency. X plus ships. What was that? Yeah. X plus ships. Yeah. Six plus ships. I think I mean, <laughs> super super I'll, evolve your ship. I'll, yeah, I'll I just really that, they should redesign the shipyard because the slider is 
Action that garbage. shit trash, man. <laughs> that shit is so you, trash. Can, you can only unlock those abilities if you get top 100 in treasure map. Shut <laughs> up. Oh, 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 that's not with me. <laughs> well, no. No. <laughs> I, I, I could do it, but no, I don't want to. I don't want to. Heavens no, bro. God, that would suck. But no, I think. I think the shipyard is definitely like a, a place that hasn't hasn't seen the light of day for like for like three years, man. They haven't done anything there at all. They've just They've added some everything but but the shipyard. I feel yeah. like I feel like even if like like Barry was just to stay like as it is, I feel like working on cola and making it do something else, whether it be like further upgrading a ship so you can like max it out further so it's its stats increase or having that that universal buff for x and out of time with cola that you'd spend the cola i think that'd be a lot because then it'd make like you know those frankie islands a lot more like like i guess yeah Yeah. valuable because like you know i guess like with barry you can argue like oh you use it to limit break and power up and blah 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 with cola it doesn't do shit yeah, well, I mean, like with the ships, could limit break the ship. I guess super evolve the ship. You have to run. You have to run. You have to run Big Mum Forest six times. You know, six times to max out the ship. Oh, you get, you get more oh, ship. Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh, like, just like, 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 just a Kaido. thing, right? Where you, if, give Kaido, please. They 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 bring out a, like a part of the dungeon. Like they you get, you can run the the forest again, and but it's like at a harder difficulty. And yeah, if you actually, do it, it adds it, it adds an upgrade. So yeah. the forest would be like an improved treasure map level increase or something like that. I don't like, know. But I think it's like a forest plus. Like, it sounds like Gomp challenge, and that doesn't sound fun. If, to me, it yeah. sounds like what you do in Destiny to upgrade Gomp. <laughs> Uh, okay. yeah, just, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just spend sixty gems to buy the whole shit plus, and I'm good to go, man. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I no. would. It's so good. You know, everyone would. Sixty gems, you get like two point two five times it. XP. Oh, hold on. Oh, jeez, dude. <laughs> geez, yeah. Crack, I'm gonna start macroing. I'm gonna be two point five k by the end of the year. That's his time. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, man. Anything else? Anyone got anything else? I really want to. Jump in with yeah. quality of life. Quality of life. Mm. Uh, I, think I, think much uh, again, yeah. I just thought of one thing. Like, Here you know how when you're in battle, you can tap the character to see the character details? Yes. I'd like it if you could tap the ship and see the ship details. Yeah. I know it's not that important, but it's just but something. Still, like though, to... Yeah. Like, you might as, like, might as well have that in there. Like, it's, it's not going to hurt anyone. While you're at it, if you if you're curious about what like the captain ability is, and you gotta like check it over. You gotta wait Dude, for that text to don't slide. Don't have that oh, dumbass so scroll anymore. That takes yeah. forever. I'm so over that yeah. trash scroll. Get that shit no, out of here. What should happen is, is if you click the options in the top corner, it should have your team preview, and then you can yeah. just tap and hold on a character to see the character details straight there. Oh yeah, that yeah. Would be yeah you get your sockets and all, and can't yeah, yeah. It, already, it already has like the socket breakdown, and then like the limit, the um, the limit breaks as well. Yeah. And the yeah. supports as well, I believe. Yeah. You can see them too. You yeah. might as well have like, you know, maybe like everyone's specials and you can click and open it up. But then for the captains, you have the captain ability and their special as well. Because like that's like the only information you really need when you're running it on. Yeah. All right, Todd's, Todd's sleeping on everyone. <laughs> Todd's asleep. Oh, he doesn't care. As soon as I talk to him, that boy's asleep. It's, like, it's, like, it's like 4 p.m. for you. No, nah, I've been playing too much Death Stranding, bro. Bro, don't you have exams? No, I'm done. Oh, hey, nice. Oh, yeah. We out here. Nice. I got one more tomorrow. Oh, and I'm luck, here. Man. I'm recording oh. this damn podcast. Oh, <laughs> <boy>. <laughs> dedication, oh, the dedication, man. I thought I was dedicated being in the closet to do one. <laughs> no, we out man. <laughs> you stay in that damn closet, you clown. Right, let's get to talking about this. Um, this let's find out this P anime, the P anime bullshit. Um, so I think I'm gonna probably be wrong. Putting a roast in the comments. But that's verbatim anyway, because I'm a goddamn clown. But the P anime people, uh, they have a YouTube channel, and every every month they release the revenue breakdowns for I believe generally it's the top 20 or top 30 gacha games. And the regions that they target, uh, they do Japan, they do the US. Recently they've started doing uh China's rev- revenue breakdown, China. and I believe every <laughs> Jesus Christ. Every impeachment, every <laughs> every couple of months they'll do um they'll do uh Europe's re- uh, revenue breakdown in terms of those gutches. So um 
they were kind enough to tweet at Todd and they made an infographic of uh, One Piece Treasure Cruises uh, revenue breakdown over US from the start of the game till September 2019 for the month. It would be so um, interesting if we got um, worldwide uh, revenue breakdown. Yeah. Because I feel like some of these might change in terms of the order of which ones were the the popularity the and biggest such. sellers maybe. But I think in general, it's a good it's a good starting point because I feel like these are probably the exact stats that we would think they would be anyway. But um, just looking at it, the number one bestseller, like, because I think that's the one that a lot of people are wondering about. The number one bestselling banner in Treasure Cruise history on Global is Lucy during the third anniversary, which I think is kind of weird. No, I don't think it's I weird. Wouldn't have it, that one. Lucy was a whole new level of power creep. That was that was yeah. like yeah. that was that, that was, was like, a meta like, shift. That, Next that was our biggest. Like, I don't even think V One Akainu was anything like that. Hell no. Because before Lucy's release, it was Neko and V2 Lucci's time. And then jumping yes. from that to Lucy was a pretty big jump. Yes. That like, was... this most recent Annie is, like, shit in comparison. If it wasn't for, like, Quickbeard, it would have been, like, the worst Annie ever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Winter's Brook was kind of, uh, like, very disappointing, honestly. When does the Luffy Law Sugar Fest count? Does that count towards October or November? Uh, I'd say October. Because if it counts towards October... Then they already released that information, three hundred thirty thousand US. Like uh, I feel in like terms it would have of to be next month because that, that's not because that because that, uh, that doesn't that doesn't make any sense because if Luffy Law and they made like the so I think like the the average for TC every month in the US was around three hundred to three hundred thirty thousand. I think that's what the like the general average. I think in the um, uh, JP, I think it's like four hundred to five hundred thousand. So it's a little bit higher, but that's expected. Like, because the Japanese players are more like fanatic in terms of spending. I mean, yeah. Nightmare used to fund all of that, but, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. So like, I hope to God that Luf- uh, Luffy Law wasn't only three hundred k, because that'd be very upsetting. Yeah, we'll have to. I think wait until the next um increment yeah. when they release that. So yeah, Lucy was number one, which uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I definitely did not expect Lu- uh, Lucy to be number one. Really was... though, I think a lot of like I think. A lot of pe- people would say that Lucy Sugo Fest would be like. But I like, remember, I guess I remember in, on its release, it was a big Sugo. I guess, you, yeah, I guess. You I guess in comparison, though, because on that graph, you like you do have Snake Man and V2 Cutter Sugo Fest, and that I doesn't even rank top three, I don't think. Yeah, that's the uh, that's uh, the third one, the, the 482. Which is like really like, oh, that, that, that didn't really generate a lot of money. And that was Annie yeah. as well. Because so it was like, guaranteed Snake Man as well. <laughs> yeah, so like people should have been pulling for. But on the other end of that, the version one Sanji release with Sai Super Evolution Gear 4 Luffy from Time Skate Luffy, the guaranteed Gear 4, that was the number two banner. That was hype because that was Christmas time, was it not? Yeah, that was the That's Christmas best. before the Lucy banner. Yeah. That was a hype. That was like, that was. It's yeah, funny. I, I didn't do a single pull on that banner. I did nine. That was the first time I ever did nine multi. I was on that Sugar Fest. To get um, that Lucy? six foot. No, on um, that, that Luffy. Oh. To, to yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm yeah. wailing. And then they're <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was Lucy for me. That was my first time doing nine. I thought I was a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> I, was yeah, I didn't even know. I didn't even know until I watched Dry streaming, which was ex- an extremely rare Dry return. Streamed? Whoa! Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that what what I, that, that's what I learned what a whale is. What? Who's this Rye kid? Who's streaming? Who's Rye? I, mean, I thought this was Nightmare. I thought Nightmare was the only one on the show today, man. <laughs> I think um, so. Like, I think looking at that like graphic, like you know, so I so like Todd said, second one. Was guaranteed gear four which was the v1 signs released um third was luffy and ace which was french annie 2018 that was big that one that was a big sugar fest i remember putting on that one as well uh, that was like you know we had we had uh, super premium currency at the time but still like you know people were dropping were dropping hella on that sugar fest and too. also because that was like right after v2 doflamingo so there were lots of good legends out at that time you had lucy yeah. v2 rayleigh judge v2 doflamingo like all these really good characters were out at the time that people really wanted to get so uh it was a good sugar fest and it was two times legend rate so it was a good opportunity for people to get some new stuff so and then it was good if we keep going down that there list LRs on that banner t i don't remember I remember there was some banner. It was pretty big. No, it might have been your choose your own. 
I might be thinking of that. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember which one I was on specifically. Yeah. Uh, keep on that that list. We have Big Mom and Brooke for so fourth Annie. That was a big one as well. Yeah, White Beard carried that too, girl. Bro, when they bro, that was crazy. When that White Beard dropped, everyone. Oh my god. But then again, that was also another one that got carried by a lot of other legends because I remember for myself personally when I was in that Suga Fest, like Brooke and Big Mom were like cool, targets, but, like, but they weren't my number one priority to try yeah, and go 100%. for. Because at that time, I really wanted Quick Gear for Luffy, White Bit and Marco were the big one that I wanted at that time. Like there were lots of other good legends out that I would mm-hmm. just preferred over um, Big Mom and, and Brooke. Yeah, I also pulled for other legends, namely Nami. I got Brook and Big Mom really oh, quick. Oh, why, why is that, Joba? Why'd you pull for uh, for Nami? Because I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't have to say it. It's fine then. Man, yeah. I went so deep. I've never gone that uh, pause. I've never gone that hard ever since, and I really shouldn't have because I didn't even get her. Damn. I got her from fucking so, TM ticket later. Yeah. Clown status. And then finally, on that on that so to round up the top five, there was V2 Doflamingo. Which was also like a big Sugo Fest. I got wrecked on that Sugo Fest. Carried that one. I'm joking. I'm joking. Jeez. <laughs> He's the man. V2 Doji. This guy. I think like I think like when you compare it to like JP, obviously like this the amount spent is less. But I think like obviously one of the reasons is that like it's not necessarily accepted as much in like in um Western style for gacha games to spend money. Like that's just in Japan, it's a lot more expect- accepted to spend a lot of money on those kinds of games. But I think in terms of like OPTC specifically, because we have JP to look at and we know what the legends do, we know what characters, we know who's good, who's not, it really can affect a lot of people in terms of how much they're spending and mm-hmm. where that spending is going. Just um, thinking about the Japanese side of the game, they've hit top grossing before, and that was during Luffy and Lawsuit Go Fest. We didn't get then- shit. <laughs> we didn't do anything. Um, yeah, we didn't get close. Uh, I know for Kaido's release, they got second top grossing. Well, why didn't you spend more night? Huh? Yeah. And then again, yeah, he got Kaido. Right. The and then he pulled a ticket <laughs> Kaido. Yeah, that's, like, <laughs> yeah, that's, some bull- that's some bullshit, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Um, I'm actually curious then, what Global's top grossing rank was. Yeah, I didn't check. At the time of I remember I checked at one point and it was like, 20th something, but I think that was a long time ago. I don't even remember what Sugo was. I don't think we get close to anything in terms of like spending wise with Global. Like, I don't think we really like reach like high, like high numbers. You know what I blame? Uh, for kids for that shitty dub yeah. a long time ago that, <laughs> that made One Piece not as big as it should have been in the West. But even like, I think, um, if you want to like really go into like One Piece in the West, I think, uh, Arthur from uh, O'Hara's library, he really, uh, he like mentioned some numbers and it's like, um, like Stampede is now like in the top 10 uh, anime movies in terms of grossing, which is like, mm. which is like really crazy. And like a lot of that is like Western, Western driven as well, which is actually really impressive. Which is even what crazier because the releases were so limited. Like there were a few theaters, very few dates, yeah. not very widespread mm-hmm. at all. I heard something about um, Stampede might outdo Broly in terms of box office. Yeah, that's that's what he, that's what it was. That's what he mentioned uh, specifically. Let me like get his tweet up. Yeah, I'm gonna have a look. Um, I, I don't know if they'll do it. Where is it? Okay, I've got really? it. Right. You got it? In the US, oh, okay. it only had like one million sales. No, I don't think Stampede will do it. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. Never mind. Broly made <laughs> Broly made way too much money. Look at the domestic difference. Yeah, shit. <laughs> That's a lot of money, dude. And I feel like the only person like that, not that so high. Apparently, hasn't even released. Uh, they're not even releasing Stampede in the UK. What? <laughs> yeah, That's, heard about that. That's, That's odd. That That's is so odd. odd. Brexit, man. The, <laughs> the Japanese is scared. <laughs> it's like, this is the political episode, man. We go into everything. <laughs> this is the political episode. God damn, dude. All right. I'm, I'm excited to see Stampede, though. It's going to be good. Bro, I feel like I'm the only person that's not, because it's not, I mean, what? I heard it's really good. Hold on. <laughs> but it's not It's not canon. Like, if it doesn't affect the actual story of One Piece, I feel like it doesn't excite me as much for that reason. Even oh, though I'm bro, sure it'll yeah, be nice to watch. Yeah, Doug I'm not saying, 
I'm not saying it's going to be bad or anything. Who's Bullet? I'm just... what, what is, who's that guy? Bullet, you mean the best legend in One Piece Treasure Cruise? Let him know, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> actually, know. actually, wait, Knight. Who do you think is the current best legend on JP? I honestly still am in the Luffy Law. Oh, whoa, shit. Personally, I, but I, think well. it's tied I, think, with I think it's tied with Bullet as well. Yeah. I, I don't know what. At all. Uh, uh, lately, I've been watching a few clips of Stampede Luffy. He looks clean. Bro. I don't like his artwork. <laughs> his artwork is terrible. I would agree. But <laughs> it's like Kung Fu Luffy level. Good unit. He is so good. He was slept on. He's a wannabe God. bullet, man. He's, He's a wannabe bullet. <laughs> the disrespect. <laughs> I mean, why would you? Why would you pull for him when you could just get bullet forehead? Or just pull on Stampede Luffy Sugo and get both. Ooh! Uh, nah, pull, on, pull on Kaido and get all three. Ooh! Ooh. Uh. Why don't I just pull on V2, though? I'll just pull on V two Ace and get all all four. Oh shit! Oh yeah, man, that new Ace is nuts. That new Ace, that Ace, that Ace. Ace. No. Ace is crazy. We, we haven't talked about Ace. Ace I, mean, I forgot yeah. Ace existed, man. Yeah, I mean, he's I forgot, dead. I forgot what he did, but he's really he's good. dead though. Bro. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's, he's awesome. He dies. He has like that same thing as Stampede Luffy, where he's got an inbuilt inbuilt utility in his captain. Yeah. He's, he's, he's like mind and rewind. He's strong as shit, though. Like he's very powerful. I really like uh, that they're doing like. I mean, I don't. I don't know if it's a one-off thing, but like a a, a themed legend, like a holiday themed legend. You know? Um, it's interesting. I don't know if it's. I think. I think. I think they should keep cool. it going though. Going forward, I yeah, feel I, like, I, it's, I like yeah, it's cool. Like I like obviously like it's not gonna like really influence global. Because, like, we'll just get it in, like, May or something like that at some random time. <laughs> yeah. Imagine but... having a special as good as that. Oh, peep yeah. game. Peep game. So just the fact that a boost attack of fighters is shooting by 2.5 times, that's, that's, a, that, that's busted. <laughs> that's illegal. Yes, it is. That's very strong. And then with the utility of bind as well, like, bind reduction for 10 turns, like... Bind, silence, and rewind, he all gets rid of by 10 turns each. How and you don't long have... is his cooldown, though? 13. Yeah. Okay. Wait, you, you don't have to wait uh, six months to max him? <laughs> Man. Wait, hold on, hold on. Who do you think we're talking about, Jerba? <laughs> Who do you think we're No, 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 no. Wait, wait, Jerba, wait. What, what did you just say? <laughs> no, I, I, I was. Okay, I sarcastically said you don't have to wait six months to max him. Wait, but like, uh, what unit what do you think we're talking about? Oh, I was talking about uh, how uh, Kizuna Zorosanji is also really good because his boost is huge too. But you got oh, okay, that makes okay. sense. Okay, okay. Uh, man, the I joke's thought, ruined now. You ruined. No, the joke. I thought you were. We didn't even I hear thought, what you said. I, I thought you thought that Ace, <laughs> like Legend Ace, was a kiss. No, no, that, I was no, like, Pappy, oh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm with you on this one, Pappy. Uh, I, was, I was yeah. like, wait, I was like, run it back, bro. This guy's being his glue eating status right now. Ah, man. That boy was munching on the clag. Yum. I'm getting a nap. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Yeah, I, was trying, I, was trying to clown, I was trying to clown. I just got to keep guy. trying. I was trying to clown him for sure. All right. We're running in. Let's get these questions done. All right. Right. I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you the question that everyone wants to know. Let me get my. Let me get What's my your shoe size? <laughs> let him <laughs> know. <laughs> and Ryan's got uh, size 14. I'm saying no, right, 11. No, it's size that boy's US big 11. as hell. What'd you say, right? US 11. 11. 11. All right, yeah. same here. What's hey, up? Me too. What's up? Oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah. It's funny, Pepe, you said hey. that. I'm actually US size 14. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Do you know what they say about big shoes? Big socks. Yep, that's fine. Hey. This episode sucks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this might be the best one yet. Hold on, yeah. let me get. Uh, we have a question. Uh, this guy, his name's Leilu. Um, Whoa. who's that guy? He, he asked him. Right. He's like, "Why is Rai so sexy? Can you please?" Oh, sh- oh please? damn! I, mean, I want to know that too. I mean, Lay, you can just hop in my DMs. I'll let you oh, know. Oh, <laughs> hey. oh, oh shit! Was, um, a good friend of the cast. Uh, Rose asks, when are you streaming again? Ooh. Uh, 2040. I bet. Put it down the calendars. Uh, November 10th for us Australians, November 9th, 2040. Rye <laughs> will be back. I'm gonna put a reminder on my phone right now. <laughs> Hold on. Um, right. and then the, and then other than everyone asking how much money you've spent, 
which when <laughs> stuff there, and we already talked about that. It spent no money. It's, it's actually zero. Let's just say he's going to have a lot of tickets if that thing ever comes up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, all right. We have two more from the, the Twitter thing. I think like um, we could probably do this for everyone as well. So Wangster, great name, by the way. He asked, <laughs> personal favorite unit. Like, I think we can all assume uh, it is Akainu. Uh, Enel course, sucks. Um, <laughs> nah, oh, go God. for it. I think we go around the. We go around the table. Everyone's oh, tough one. favorite really unit. Tough. I think you can all guess mine. If yeah. you say, if you say carrot, I'm kicking you. Like, <laughs> I don't have to say it. I just said you can all guess mine. <laughs> God damn it! He's right. He got me again. <laughs> um, no, it's actually story Arlong. <laughs> Dude, the oh, goat. Facts. Man, that, that uh, ball player. Legend Arlong win. <laughs> yeah, yeah bro, let him know, man. Give him some trash as TM rare That's my favorite unit. I mean, to be honest, I love V1 Katakuri because of how unique he is, but like, I can't go past my boy V2 Akainu. He is just... That boy is cracking. He's a lot of fun. That boy is cracking. He's good. Dill's typing he's... in the database right now. Oh, sorry. Um, oh, I can't even... I'm like half out of that <laughs> question. <laughs> oh what my god, friend? this man. This man trying to snooze, man. <laughs> What's your personal favorite unit, Dill? Um, personal favorite. Fuck, that's a hard that's a question. Tough question. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Cobb, give me, give me a meme answer. Um, I want to hear it. A meme answer. Yes, I mean, sir. I was gonna give you a legit answer, but uh, oh, look, if he's you wanna... sure, I'll let him know, dude. Oh, uh, what about um, legit answer? I really uh, and uh, we go back to it all the time. I really like the Legend Robin. I think uh, mm-hmm. having a guaranteed nah fuck that is really really handy to have <laughs> if I can't think of something on a team. Nah fuck that. Smart man choosing Robin. And yes. you know what? Even when even back in the day, her captain ability I thought was really nice. Three point two five unconditional back then was pretty good, and I thought she was a nice and simple safe. On captain. her release, yeah, she was good. And just yes. heal forever. You take damage, yeah. nah. <laughs> nah. And let's not forget legs for years. Oh, man. oh. just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Was, we, we, were, we were drawing the line. And like I was waiting for her to cross over. I didn't even know why I was waiting. I... <laughs> um, I'm up, I, I'm actually really loving Neko Inu. Yeah, yeah. It's a combination. It's a combination of like I really like the cerebral teams, but like Neko Mushi was like my favorite legend when he was at his peak. Yeah, the so, two yeah. perfect thing is a vast improvement over Lucy's thing, which like I said last time, yeah. it, it was Lucy's biggest downside. Another good thing about them as well is that they don't do damage with their special. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah, you don't so trigger some. You can, get, you can get the perfects in. Yeah. Right, right. Let us know, man. What's your favorite unit? Oh, uh, I'd say like, see, it's hard for me because there's so many. But Anil or Robin, it's one of the two. You got, like favorite captains, and then you got favorite subs, and you got favorite support units. And... Yeah, like favorite overall unit or. Because yeah, if it's overall, it, the question any is personal NL. favorite units. I don't know. Okay, like, take NL. that as you wish. Trisha Map and My favorite NL. unit is support. Dogma is the best unit in the game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Knight, <laughs> Knight, what's your favorite unit, man? If you don't say Kaido, I'll be upset. Oh, no. I'm not a fan of Kaido. Uh, Damn. My favorite unit, probably. Um, I really love VT Luchi. I know he's kind of trash nowadays, but. Rest it was like peace, man. the first legend that I ever pulled, like on release, and I love the chain, like boost abilities after you hit a perfect, and then a continual power up. I just love yeah, that. Yeah, on his release is like, oh, he in his peak was fantastic. So much fun. Low key, I love Dude, um on Japan ever. <laughs> Low key, I love V one um V one Kiji six plus. That's I don't know. Yes. Yeah, I yeah, don't know why. Like, nice. I, I think he, he, he was just hell strong. Like yeah, that, that's a very interesting choice. And I love that that special that fixed damage too, and he, he, like you increase duration. He got like, a nice buff with his six plus for yes, sure. Yes, exactly. So like, oh yeah, yeah, so good. W- w- was he our first like really nice six plus? That was like a huge improvement. Mm, oh, white beard, bro. Technically, technically, you can count Sai Sabo as one. Oh yeah, yeah, true. Sai Sabo yeah. was kind of correct. And you got the t- time skip Luffy six plus. Uh, yeah. I mean, a unit that is like when the six plus first came out, that was kind of like no one really cared about it, but it's actually gotten better with time. Is um six plus Rayleigh? 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's gotten a lot better with time. He sees a lot of play. He's and I use him more than teams. I yeah. thought I would. And his limit break getting the cooldown reduction sailor ability, so good. I remember when it, when it first came out, people thought he'd be good because you can run him on a side gear 14 to get rid of the bind. Well, that, that was himself. quote unquote his purpose. Yeah. yeah. And then everyone's like, oh shit, this this <laughs> this reduction is actually kind of cracking. Hold yeah, on. Seven <laughs> turns of bind, despair, and paralysis reduction. That's really good. Yeah. And so easier perfects. Perfect. Easier perfects is nice. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> I'm trying to hit good greats and perfects, man. What are you talking about? Oh, shout oh, out. Oh. Yeah. He did it. He did it. Shout out to those guys. Bro, <laughs> bro, my favorite unit is Log Luffy, man. He's the goat. He's the goat. He is the best. I'm, I'm gonna run nothing but well, Log Luffy now. The thing is, when if if he gets a six plus, would you evolve the original artwork? I don't have it. My account's too new, man. So I, right, I, 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 I would not. <laughs> I would have I, to. I, I would I have to do the old I art that I have. I would because I, I have a new. <laughs> Yeah, right. Well, Lockheed yeah, is getting so. that new limit break, so Ooh, yeah, we'll true. see what happens. Might yeah, be really see. good. What if they change it so it's not a good grade perfect? What do we do? Oh, <laughs> man. Do we just We're quit? Does, does, does the podcast just end? Is that it? Do we just no, we just that Wait, no, the they, we have to, uh, Fuji, bro. There's another oh, legend. We do have uh, no, Fuji. Fuji. V2 Fuji. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. He's not as picturesque as Lug Luffy, though. Yeah, if we have to change to Fuji Tour, I'm out. <laughs> Same, I'm out. <laughs> All right, before we get into Joba's question, I want to get into one last Twitter question that we can go a little bit around the table. The Mirror 609 via Twitter did ask, How do you feel about the blindness debuff is the most annoying in the game? And from that, we can expand on what do we think the most annoying debuff in the game is. So, what do we all think about the blindness debuff? I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Yeah. So oh, much especially, especially when I'm trying to like casually watch YouTube or Netflix or whatever, I look down like, oh, shit, okay, i got to hit perfect through blind, I can do it. Miss, miss, great. Like, legit, Fuck if there's a, there's a piece of content that has the remove SFX debuff, I will try my hardest to fit a character with a sailor Same. ability that removes it. Same. <laughs> yeah. Which is what... Just, um, six plus Usopp or Usopp. Um, you oh, could, sailor ability is a support ability. You could get good as well, if you want. It, yeah, you could turn on... You could turn on the sound. You know, that's the old, like, Ash turning his Yeah, I, no, I, I, the no, that actually helps me. I turn on the sound. <laughs> yeah. I got I to look for the keys in the, move, in the, uh, what's it called? The patterns. Yeah. Just, just it's not an really issue by itself. Like, the blindness by itself isn't an issue. It's when it's no. uh, combined with, like, paralysis or stuff. Because, I mean, like, for me, I pretty much have, like, muscle memory for all the t- attack yeah, patterns. Yeah, 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 when they stack it with a barrier that you have to hit a certain tap timing. Yeah, that's, when that's the worst. That's when it's messed up. So, okay, blindness aside, then what do we think is the worst debuff? Oh, this one's that? as easy. This one's easy. Any any barrier that has you having to have a specific colored orb. Yeah, that's that the worst. Cool. Hands down. That that's is the fucking trash. worst. Yep, that and um, the thing that removes cumulative damage that sucks too. It's yeah. not really a debuff because you can't yeah. do anything that about it. That one's just it, stupid. Um, the only regular only. damage buff. Yeah, normal attacks only kind of sucks. Yeah. And uh, honorable shout out to Paralysis. I hate that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's God. annoying that like different bosses have different um, chances of Paralysis. Yeah, which really does my head in, to be honest. It should always be 50%. I'm like, oh, low percentage. We should be fine. And it's like six buzzes. Yep. <laughs> Rip. Yep. Rip. All right. Joe Bar, go for it, mate. All right, right. I have a quick question for you. Uh, what is the legend that you have pulled the hardest for? Uh, um, and how many gems was it in US? Uh, how about how about a, a limitation in one go? In one go, what's the, what's the hardest? Okay. I have to say how much uh, if you don't want to, but which legend? I would honestly say V1 Boa on her Ooh, release. What? Wow. What? Yes. Ooh, I no one would have picked I, that. I, I, no. And I you know what? That's, that's before a, Faulty. Yes, that was. I oh, think man. I over 2,500 gems for her. Bro. 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 Imagine hearing that in 2019. What? <laughs> Bro. Yeah. Oh I take back my question. I didn't want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Everyone was trying to cack him with rice. That and shit's going to give me nightmares, assume, dude. Just assume that, you know, that's right. You know, in one go, rice spent 2,500 gems. 
you can branch that up to whatever numbers you want to hear. That's not the best spin on the game. That was four years ago. <laughs> yeah, four years Man. ago. Then he started then he started working for Google and then everything changed. All yeah, right. we had something beautiful called cheap gems. Whoa, I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> how about, no, how about everyone every else? No, 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 no. How about everyone I don't else? Want to, nah, I don't want to get into any yeah, more. <laughs> That's dirty. <laughs> That's a forbidden territory. <laughs> no, but I think I think it's actually a good ask question. If anyone wants to also talk about how deep they've gone for a particular legend, Joba, you want to go into your stories real quick about your character? Oh, experience? man. Well, even Car surprisingly, Carrot was not the hardest I went. I only did 15 for Carrot. The hardest I ever went was on last Annie, uh, fourth Annie. I did 34 for Nami throughout the whole event and i didn't get her that's nice man that hurt <laughs> all right let's go cob hit me up i i never pull the legend uh on the sugo when i want them i just get them later on so <laughs> i'm, I'm an accumulative kind of guy <laughs> i add them yeah. up <laughs> i just get them when they're running out of fashion <laughs> Bill, i know you, um, this man goes hard i so when when it was with cheap gems were around obviously, and i think it was close to two thousand gems this is going after the um uh Guaranteed reds as well. Um, it was for uh, lace. Mm. How many? Give me some numbers. I want to hear how, how, many, many, what? how many multis. Oh. Like founding. <laughs> All right. The fact that you have to like <laughs> the gears are, get the gears are churning. You can't. Yeah. I, I, I want to I, I say like twenty. I want to say many. like part one, like twenty multis. Oh, I remember you getting Luffy Nice. Yeah, I remember it took you ages. Yeah. Yeah. That was bad. I uh, rainbowed the whole batch. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Damn. All right. My worst was um, White Beat and Marco when I tried going for them because um, they came out initially. It was like late January, I think. And then I did like six to eight multis on their release. And then during the Treasure Map Suga, which was Treasure Map Shiki, I did like 17 multis to try and get them again. And I didn't get them. What a, can I just say? What about V two Boa, my guy? Yeah, I did nine. Oh, that sucked. Right. right. Yeah, and you got V one. You got V one Boa. Yeah, they just had to rub yeah, it in about my nine times. Face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Knight. What about you, man? Um, hardest for one unit. Uh, yeah. I don't recall. I think the most I ever done for one unit was um twenty two for Luffy Law. I think that's Damn. the only one. Yeah. Small. At least you got him. Yeah. It doesn't count if you get them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if we're on that, I did 22 for um, Manjira. Wait, I didn't get right. them yet. Oh. So you 22 for Manjira? Oh, my days. Yeah, that was a good. <laughs> Wait, right. What were you saying? If it doesn't count, then what? I said if it doesn't count, if you didn't get them, then I mine doesn't count because I didn't get Boa that Sugo either. That's what, what? I'm saying. I'm, no, I, I'm saying like you did like. I, 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 oh, you did. Oh, okay. All right. No, I didn't. Um, I didn't get. Oh, that. you didn't. Okay, no, nah. no, nah, that, that counts then. Because I'm saying I, what I was saying was like if you are, if you like pulled a 22, like what Knight did, you end up getting the unit. Does it really count then? <laughs> if it's that deep. Um, well, we haven't really talked about the new uh, Trish map unit that came out in Japan. Shit, true. Tim Nami. Uh, yeah, Tim Nami. I think she's freaking awesome. Should have been yeah. Robin. We don't need yeah, Uchi that's anymore. The only thing I hate is the fact that it's Nami. Should have been any other female character. Perona, man. How many? How long I got to? I got to ride the Perona. It's our train. first V two treasure map character. How long I got to ride the Perona train, man? Should have been Perona, bro. Perona would have been a great fit, actually. Yeah. Should have yes. been Robin. Yeah. Robin. Robin, Robin would have been cracking. Pudding would have been cracking. Um, but she's really interesting. She's a rainbow color affinity booster but it's a multi-turn one like a lucy special mm. so uh, that's the first of the uh, first of the kind for for a color affinity unit i think um yeah, she doesn't really so. have much utility which is annoying um she reduces blindness with a sailor which is nice there you go everyone's gonna run her now yep <laughs> thank yep. god for that um 200 000 fixed damage 1.75 color affinity hit three perfects two times the next turn She's just all around a great unit, and yes. we'll definitely see play. It's rainbow color affinity, but you need to have a shooter captain, which is not that bad. Um, well, especially because like they're up, like isn't the limit break plus also Dex Sabo and was it Capone? Was yep. it or something? Yeah. So uh, like NL V1 Boa. So like a lot of the, they're they're trying to run that run that shooter thing again. Yeah. 
Yeah, and obviously she works really well with the newly released Halloween Ace. So yes, also true. That'd be Makes bro. Sense. Two point five times attack, two times <laughs> color affinity. She all right. Yeah, that new Ace is kind of dumb. He's very strong indeed. He's definitely like like the top legends on JP right now. You got Bullet, Luffy, Law, um, Kaido. I'd say is probably up there close to up there i oh, remember seeing yeah. your, your video at night actually you were like going through like best beginner legends i think it was mm-hmm. um yeah and you didn't put kaido at the top which i can understand why i, I understand your reasonings but yeah kind of makes sense because kaido is kind of difficult to use hmm. yeah. what do you mean you just chuck him in a team and he runs <laughs> in a, like, runs that shit, i mean like bro. if you don't have like cooldowns like nah, nah, as a yeah, beginner it's kind of trash yeah cooldown yeah. can kind of actually kind of hurt you yeah because you just kill shit too fast mm-hmm. that's true that is true indeed all right anyone else got anything they want to say before we wrap this shit up we've been here for a minute now I, have to... I don't think there's much else i think we've gone <clears throat> through everything pretty I much think, yeah Whew. all right sweet awesome. well let's then. wrap this shit yeah, let's wrap this shit up. Man's got to go study. Um, all right. <laughs> First and foremost, thank you so much, Rai, for coming out. We really do appreciate you coming to the episode and giving us a lot of your insight <laughs> and such. So we really thank you for that. You're more than welcome to come back anytime you want. Just, you know, come back on right, and enjoy right the cast. You're an honorary <laughs> member, so that's what's up. Um, shout out to the other homies. Joba, Cobb, Dill, Todd, Knight. Thank you for coming with me again on this wonderful journey of... Good, great, perfect. As I mentioned, every single episode, you can find us on YouTube, youtube.com slash uh, good, great, perfect. If you're not subscribed and you're watching the damn episode, hit that <laughs> subscribe button, please. Gee, what are you doing? Like 65% of you don't subscribe. You're clowning. You're cheesing. You can also follow us on Twitter um, at good, great, perfect. They can find us on Instagram at Dill. Uh, pardon? You can find us on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm so tired. So. <laughs> Where can they find us on Instagram? Okay, so if you go to Instagram, we are GGP, GGP Podcast. Same yes. as our Twitter handle. Yes, sir. Uh, find us on Anchor. You can find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, all those good places. Uh, we will be back at some point, guest or not, who knows. Um, let us know in the comments below. Uh, how you thought of the structure. Do you like us more on the discussion side or do you like us more going through uh, particular news and giving our opinions? How do you want to see the episode structured too? Also, leave some freaking questions. How many times have I got to ask for questions? Jeez. I'm getting upset. I mean, like, I, oh, thank you to everybody who submitted questions on the, uh, yes. on the Instagram we as well, because, but we just didn't manage to get around to it. We uh, will we add them to the very list. The list is very short. But yes, it will be on the, the list. The list is very short. We need more questions. Um, with that being said, thanks everyone for listening and we will catch you next time. Peace. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye.